Hi, everyone. My name is Tyler Wagner, and I am with Northwest Environmental Justice Center, which provides no-cost technical assistance and support for communities to address environmental and energy justice issues and work towards thriving futures in Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and Alaska. Part of this support will be through cohorts like the one you're about to hear about, cohorts that help build community capacity and where environmental justice community leaders and organizations can participate in training, be part of a facilitated community of practice, and access tools and assistance. So let's hear more about our policy cohort with Ben Duncan. Great. Right. Thanks, Tyler. Uh, and it's my, my real great pleasure to, to introduce our vision for the Northwest Environmental Justice Center Policy Cohort. My name is Ben Duncan. I'll introduce myself a bit more later in the webinar, but we'll be leading a, a really terrific team to ensure a meaningful and valuable experience for cohort members. And I want to start by centering the values and approach that guides the work that we'll be doing together. This model is designed to be relational, an experiential learning environment. And to facilitate towards that vision, we start with the belief that communities are the best experts in their own lives. Using inclusive teaching practices and ethical storytelling, we'll create space for our cohort members to bring their lived and professional experience to the process to co-develop, to influence, and to shape the learning and collaborative environment. We're committed to centering and embedding indigenous knowledge using a two-eyed approach that acknowledges and recognizing recognizes that there are multiple ways of knowing, multiple ways of learning, and multiple ways of being. And we deeply believe in the process of reflection for health and for healing, but also as a methodology for learning and adapting to meet the needs of cohort members. The cohort will be shaped by the needs of those who are participating. And guided by those values, the cohort is designed to move through a process that starts with naming issues that are creating harm in our communities or ideas that can create opportunity for thriving. Moving through a curriculum that includes a foundational learning for environmental justice, understanding the policy landscapes that exist, and ultimately supporting cohort members to move from issue to action, turning ideas into policy. Each member will create a vision, identify policy pathways, and develop a policy statement and plan for actualizing policy to get to wins for community. Now I want to briefly talk about what to expect in the process and a little bit about myself. From a process standpoint, building on the values I shared earlier, you should expect to come into a space where you are co-creating the experience, including a recognition and highly valuing shared learning and experiential learning, that we are actively participating in a time stretching into our collective growth zones and centering in on our relationships, our connections, and our collective well-being through a commitment to belonging and a commitment to mutual respect. And the values and processes are aligned with my own practice. I come into this work trained as an organizer, a founding board member of an environmental justice organization in Portland, Oregon. I've navigated policy as part of my work with the National Governing Alliance on Race and Equity and my work and role on the Oregon Environmental Justice Council. I've done years of training and facilitation with communities and organizations all over the country. And personally, as you see in this, this slide, my wife Catherine's work is focused on communication and education policy. And my son, Rudy, at 13 years old, is also a published author who serves on his district's racial equity and social justice council and started the first elementary leadership group in the district's history. So it's a family affair as we do our work together. The next slide really represents the framework and objectives, ensuring that we're grounded in environmental justice and using an equity lens as cohort members develop policy visions, move into where specific policies can be advanced and how community can be engaged to develop policy statements that align with that initial issue that cohort members identified. And if you're wondering if this is for you, we feel that those who will benefit the most from the cohort will be folks who are in roles either in organizations, groups, or communities that are interested in engaging in policy solutions to address issues that your community experiences, and those that are responsible for or have influence to lead policy work in the organization, groups, or community. Finally, as I've discussed throughout, members will be responsible for identifying a focus and participating in a series of virtual sessions supported by our facilitation and learning team, technical assistance partners, and other subject matter experts 
in the months that we are not meeting, we've intentionally created space for project implementation, engagement of community, or technical assistance that can help cohort members make progress. And ultimately, the members themselves will leave with the experience and sense of how a particular policy concept can be moved to action. On behalf of our team, we can't wait to be in partnership with you.